This time it's like in this video we are looking at homeostasis. Now in the body many things have to be kept constant to avoid death. Now this balancing act is known as homeostasis. Now body temperature, iron content, blood sugar levels and water content must be controlled. Carbon dioxide and urea are also waste products which need to be removed. So first of all we will look at carbon dioxide. As when you aspire carbon dioxide is produced. Now when there is too much carbon dioxide in the body, the dissolved carbon dioxide can produce acidic solutions which would affect all the enzymes. So therefore it is essential that the carbon dioxide is removed. The carbon dioxide moves out of the cells into your blood and the bloodstream carries the carbon dioxide into the lungs. So this means that most of the carbon dioxide is removed when you breathe out. Next is urea. As when you eat more protein than needed, they cannot be stored, so they are converted into fats and carbohydrates. So this process occurs in the liver, and urea is produced as a waste product. Now urea is poisonous, and it could cause significant damage. However, the kidneys can filter it out of the blood, and it is temporarily stored in the bladder as urine before being excreted from the body. Next we'll look at water and iron content as ions like sodium are taken into the body from food and are absorbed into the blood. Now if the iron or water content is wrong, the balance between them could be upset and too much or too little water is drawn in from osmosis. So excess ions are removed from the kidneys and occasionally in sweat. Now water is taken in from food and drink and can be lost in urine, in sweat and whenever we breathe. Now the control system, which controls all these internal conditions, needs certain key features to function. So first of all, there are the receptors. Now, these are cells that detect changes in the internal and external environment, and these changes are known as stimuli. Next, there are the coordination centers. Now, this is areas that receive and process information from receptors. Now, they send out signals and coordinate the response of the body. Now, finally, there are effectors. Now these are muscles or glands that bring about responses to the stimulus received. So this means that everything can be kept constant. So thank you for watching this video and see you soon. Bye.